I'm not going to not allow her to travel or, or, or go on a honeymoon or whatever just because I'm afraid to travel. But I but said. at what point are you finding Uh-oh. this info out? <laughs> because I feel like, Uh-oh. yes, Uh-oh. there's sacrifices. And yes, you don't want to put the person down. But at the same time, you some things are like non-negotiable. Like if I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, I mean, so if you meet somebody and you know that they like to travel and you're like staunchly again, like I had a friend, a coworker back in the day. Her husband like was just he refused to get on an airplane. Like he could not do it. And for me, I love to travel. So that already is like I found out that information on date one. I don't care how fly he is. It's it's DOA. Like there's no, we cannot move past. So this. what, what, what if, what if the, what if the reasoning for not wanting to travel is very traumatic? I mean, I feel like there, there are, there are. And, the- and we're so early on in the relationship. It's so early. It's not even a relationship when you're dating like that for me, is not something I'm willing to work through with somebody. Like, I'm like, you got to work that out with somebody else for me personally, because okay. I just, it's just not, it's so, it's just like, it's such a non-starter. I, I, I mean, I travel all the time. I am literally like, you know, we have this situation where like my husband, my ex-husband travels with our son. They, like they go, they, like, for example, this summer they went to uh, Denmark where he's from for three weeks. Yeah. So I was like, oh, let me go on a trip too. You know, I went to the Bahamas. <laughs> They're going to, to Ghana in, in December. I probably will end up going hey, to uh, my I'm also second. Going in December. Yeah, Quaba. Like I'll go, <laughs> I'll go there that last week in December as well. So, you know, obviously if I'm with somebody, we're so, you know, international, it's kind of like, well, I'm not gonna do any of those trips with you because I cannot get on a plane because of XYZ. You know what I'm saying? I feel like sometimes people ignore a lot of things in the beginning like you mentioned earlier the red flags and then it's it becomes like a situation later on when had you just given it the attention that it needed early from from jump you wouldn't be dealing with that you know you don't think you've closed the door for to give him a chance to sacrifice you don't think you've closed Honestly, the door. You don't think you and you. <laughs> you to don't give him the chance to sac- I'm sorry to give him the chance to sacrifice for. He like, knows you. Okay, he knows you like to travel, right? Right. Like, okay, I'm gonna be brutally honest, and I know my wife's gonna hate me for saying this, right? Yeah. My wife loves to travel, mm-hmm. and I compromised on this. I said, "All right, look, I gave you one trip international, and I gave you one trip local. I'm not going to. I'm not going to Australia next week. Week after that." We go to Antarctica. You we don't like that. to travel. You're saying you don't like to travel, or you you have issues. Not getting- not frequently. I think what he's trying to say he doesn't like doing it frequently. I don't like that- doing it frequently. I don't like doing it. I just feel like one one is like for me. It's like I don't like to travel by myself. That's one. No. Two, it's like you're taking me out of my my bubble, my comfort zone. Yeah. Wanting to wanting to travel once a week or once a month, like every I'll give you I'll give you every six months. I'll give you two, three times a year, but like every week we go on somewhere doing something. I mean, that's just, that's just my personal thing. Right. Of that's course. So me- I think that's what I'm saying. Like, I think that it, it really comes down to what are your non-negotiables as a person? And if like, like for me personally, you guys were talking about being outgoing, etc. I think that I am also an outgoing person and I like okay. to be out. Like I like to be out and about. So like a hardcore introvert or a shy guy, just wouldn't work for me. Like, so, but just, wait a minute. But what if sense. what if that guy comes into your life and is open to? I'm I'm, I'm just saying you're closing yeah, the door. Or you love you love, you love to do the 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 square peg in a round uh, hole, and I feel like I'm trying to make that happen when you can find somebody probably a little bit easier that is a little bit more compatible with you. Like, I don't want to start out the gate with all these challenges. So I have a question because, okay. And as a, and this is just for me as a female, because so I had, when she say a square in a circle, because I can tell you me and my husband is definitely a square in a circle because what I desire, I would not lie. I didn't want a man with kids. I Mm -hmm. want someone in the military. I, I was adamant about that. Um, and I got someone who had a kid, had roommates, mm-hmm. 
nowhere near the military. And I was like, ah. And so I, I won't lie. It was one of those struggles for me. So because I've always just got what I wanted. But then I also noticed that what I wanted don't always work out. So the biggest thing my godmother told me, she was like, you want a different result to something, you have to do it differently. So I did. I won't lie. I did. I was like, you know what? I'm going to holler at him. Let me, let me holler at him. And I did. I was like, hey, you know, and he called me Mother's Day of 2008. And again, he had a son and a whole entire nine. And I won't lie. It was like, do I really want to, you know, be bothered with this? He ain't even in the military. He don't even want to be bothered with me either. And I challenged him with some things. Um, because he traveling was not his thing. He ain't doing it. He was like, I'm not moving. I'm not doing none of that. And so it took us just a date and to just grow to where now I, I can't, now he's like, okay, where are we going next? What, what, what are we doing? And it took, it, it took a while. I won't even lie. It took us a minute to, to get yeah. there. And it's probably going to be, though, that's probably gonna be with me too. That's probably going to be, that's, I, I, that's probably going to be with me too. I got what I needed. Yeah. I got what I wanted later, but I got what I, I needed at that time because I won't even lie. He slowed me down because I was going, 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 and he slowed me down, and he was already slow, and I, I picked him up, so we're at the same pace. And and it's funny you mention that because I, I think that will probably be me. It'll, I'll probably go on trips four, five, six, seven times a year, and then Jay laughs because it's probably happening, and Shatoria knows my uh, wife. It's probably going to happen because she's yep. been pushing <laughs> Look here, we all about big boats, and we already talking about. I mean, I'm military, so I can't go for right now because of COVID. But look, we like Greece. He already like, well, baby, what's your plan? Well, where are we trying to go next? So we have a list. But again, this is a man that I met 16 years ago, and was like, yeah. nah, I'm straight. And I don't like, I don't like planes either. I don't like planes, I mean, but I will get on one. I will get on one. It's definitely, obviously, personal, a personal choice. Yeah, um, it's definitely yeah. a decision on how much time you want to invest in working with somebody. And for me personally, I there are things that I am willing to compromise on that I'm like, okay, I could give you a little leeway. Um, there are things that I'm just like, no, like I don't want to do this. And I'm, and there's not in, an emotional, sorry, there's not an, an emotional investment there where I need to do that. You know, some things like children, Obviously, I have a child, so I'm not like, you know, and I'm older, so I'm not like, oh, my God, I, I he can't have a child. You know, for me, that's not the end of the world. Somebody being divorced or, you know, having whatever, not the end of the world. But definitely you not wanting to travel, you not getting on a plane. Yeah, that's a non-starter. So, um, so a, a lack of a certain amount. You already know. We already know financially. <laughs> stability. <laughs> Like, no, no, no. But I'm again, not gonna. I'm not gonna to, have this, to the I'm, age I'm, point. I'm not gonna go that. I to this conversation. You talking about a twenty-something-year-old not having X amount of money in the bank, not having a house, and da 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 da. That's very different than talking about a forty-something-year-old or a fifty-something-year-old. You know what I'm saying? These are two different conversations because context is very important. So mm -hmm. you know, <clears> I don't think that's a huge, tremendous ass. Again, I'm not saying he has to have a billionaire. You know, he's a he has to be a billionaire. But I absolutely am not looking for some a middle aged man with no financial stability. That to me is just it's crazy. And I'm I personally, well, I respect every woman's decision to do what she wants to do. Me personally, I'm not sitting here trying to oh baby, but you could grow this and you could you could just put a little five on it. And, no, I'm not <laughs> doing all that. So, so, I okay, personally okay. am not yeah. the, Javid, the motivator. Like, you know, I'm I've been, I've been waiting. I just have one. I've, I just have two questions. And I've been yeah. waiting. I've been and I put in parentheses outside of money and physical, but it looks like we're getting ready to go down this road. We're so, we going to shift off of it. It's a mentality, though. It's a philosophical. It's the mentality behind it. Right? I have two, said I have that two before, questions. And I, I, I've said that to you, but go ahead. Go ahead I, have two, I have two questions. My very first question, and you, and you brought up a lot of good points, but do you yeah. feel like you're going to go through a friendship, a relationship, potential committed relationship, or potential marriage with no challenges? You're not meaning when I say no, no challenges. I never no, said that, but I no, said it's about being selective about what you choose to take on. I don't, I'm not looking for the perfect 
okay, Mr. Perfect, like I'm not perfect. So clearly perfect is not, does not exist. I'm not perfect. I'm not looking for perfect, but it's about being selective about what the challenges are. Some things to me don't make sense. I'm not. But I think a lot of the challenges, a lot of the challenges you're talking about, life challenges are out of a person's control sometimes, right? A middle-aged man not yeah. having money and you know how to fit because this is what this show is about i defend the men. you love this you love this conversation and i was so, like it ain't happening so for me. i'm gonna <laughs> jump in real doing quick. It. i'm gonna jump in real quick i'm gonna jump go, in. go ahead so, go ahead please. so <clears throat> like this wow. conversation started with what are the characteristics you look for in a relationship right yeah in yeah. a in a commit before you enter a committed relationship Right. And I think the thing that we can all agree on is adaptability, compatibility, and a willingness to compromise on certain things. Yeah. All of those things we can all agree on. The things that we are willing to adapt to, be compatible with, and compromise on are different from person to person. Yeah. I think... Like Phil, you uh, you you like the square peg round hole. There are certain no, that's challenges not, that's you not, think that's not what I like. That's not what I like. What I'm so, saying I, is, Phil, I didn't hold up, hold answer up. that question, but I will after he. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. So go ahead, Jay. there are certain things that you do not think are as big of challenges that Javi feels like are bigger challenges for her relationship. Okay. But this goes back to what Shatoria was saying in terms of. Not everybody's relationship is going to be the same. So like Javi wants somebody who will who will travel with her, who's who can who can spend money with her and who can who can uh, have a compatible lifestyle. You are OK, Phil, you are OK. Like, all right, my wife travels. I'll go with her, but I'm not necessarily planning trips to Dubai and, and Thailand and Macau and all this other stuff. <laughs> on my own that's just not my life i will that's... i will uh, i will say okay okay let me let um, me let me say this the the re the reasoning the reason why I, I try to have these conversations with javi and, and with jamie and every, every actually everybody on this panel right because mm -hmm. i want to defend the middle-aged man that go through these types of situations that that's life fine. challenges that are out of a man's control. I don't like Phil. Hold on. I can I, I can respect it and I appreciate you for it because I am somebody who has been through those challenges. So correct. you know and, and, love and, and what respect I'm saying, you for it. Go ahead. But what I'm saying is is the fact that life is full of challenges, right? Absolutely. No one's gonna go through this life without some type of challenge, right? <laughs> yeah. Challenges make relationships strong. Ch challenges absolutely. make relationships stronger, right? But, but going I think to we're, finishing go the point I was making, though, go ahead. Like every we we were speaking about it a little bit earlier. You have to know what challenge is yours and what challenge is the other person's, right? Like but you're not going to know those and, challenges and, on and the first date. You're not no, going to know those you know, you know, you know fine. what your non-negotiables are. And to that point, like those men that you're talking about. There are women for them. There are women who are like, you don't got it, baby. I got it. I personally okay. am not one of those women. And so those men should find those women that are cool with all the things that you're talking mm -hmm. about. Like, Correct. okay. Trying to convince so let me, me, let me, let me, why let me I ask you a hypothetical go, question, Javi. Yeah, let me ask you a hypothetical okay. question. You're talking yeah. to a guy. You love to travel. He's so compatible with what you want to do. He's doing this just to impress you, right? He gets what he wants. You guys have been together a long time, committed a relationship, then it turns.